Welcome back to our storytelling time. And for today's book, it is entitled Ronald the Rhino. Ronald the Rhino is big and strong. But Ronald is sad because he longs to be interesting like his forest friends. So, let's all together discover more about how Ronald's friends help him to realize how special he truly is. Okay? So, this is a story about friendship and self-confidence. So, are you ready? Let's start. Again, the book is entitled Ronald the Rhino. Ronald the Rhino is so big and strong. In the Javan forest is where he belongs. His dusky gray skin is very well worn. At the front of his head is a beautiful horn. Mm, as you can see, this is Ronald the Rhino. He eats fallen fruits from the damp forest floor. But Ronald is sad. He longs for much more. Why am I special? He says with a tear. I live by myself. I have no friends here. Oh, Ronald is so sad at this moment. As you can see in the picture, look. He is teary-eyed. Oh no. All of the animals have a grand trait. Something unique that makes them just great. I've got it, he cries with a smile on his face. And he wiggles and jiggles all over the place. What do you think is he thinking now? We'll find out. I'll be a leopard with beautiful spots, all yellowish fur and dark brownish dots. So Ronald sets off to hatch out his plan. And through the dense forest, his eyes start to scan. He soon finds some mud, all sticky and wet. Great, Ronald says. I'll have my spots yet. He starts right away painting on patches, using his horn to scoop mud up in batches. Ooh, look at him. He is so cute now. As soon as he finishes, he, he admires his work. But high in the trees, leopard does lurk. What are you doing? Leopard asked with a grin. You've mud in great patches all over your skin. I want to be like you with spots on my face. To sleep in a tree, to run, leap, and race. So Ronald wants to be like Leopard. You can be a leopard. You're too big and gray. You're a Javan rhino in every way. So, what do you think will happen next? Ronald looks sad and sure what to do. He lets out a sigh. He's feeling so blue. Mm, he is sad again. Why am I special? He says with a tear. I live by myself. I have no friends here. All of the animals have a grand trait. Leopard has spots that make him just great. I've got it, he cries with a smile on his face. And he wiggles and jiggles all over the place. I'll be a python. My body is so strong with smooth patterned skin and a tongue nice and long. 
He starts away and gets down on the ground. He slides through the mud with a terrible sound. But as Ronald moves, he lets out a wail. His body is sore and bent round like a snail. Out in the bushes, no python can see what the young rhino is trying to be. <laughs> he tries to be like a python. Why are you moving around like a snake? Your back is all bent. I saw your legs shake. I want to be like you on the rough jungle ground, slowly and smoothly sliding around. You can be a python. Your skin is too rough. Your horn is too hard and your feet are too tough. Ronald sits down, his head hanging low. What could it be? He just doesn't know. Why am I special? He says with a tear. I live by myself. I have no friends here. All the animals have a grand trait. Python slides smoothly, which makes him just great. Leopard and Python see Ronald so glum, so they cook up a plan to cheer up their chum. We've got it, they say, looking down at his face. Ronald wiggles and jiggles all over the place. Do you think Python and, this, and the leopard are good friends? Of course, yes. They are planning to make Rhino happy. Can you guess what is it? Mm -hmm. His skin is tough and looks like great armor. His eyes sparkle brightly. He is a real charmer. His legs are so strong and his horn is the best. The animals love him, as you may have guessed. So these two friends really love Rhino and very amazed of what Rhino is. I want to be like him. Ronald cries out, his eyes shining bright as his feet dance about. So into the forest, they set off to find this mystery animal that might change his mind. They came to a clearing with few trees around, with a beautiful stream, no one to be found. Leopard says with a smile, he lives just down there, across the wet ground. He approaches with care. Ronald moves closer to look at this beast. His heart all a flutter. His brow lined and creased. He looks hard for a moment. His eyes flushing fast. The water is silty with mud flowing past. What is Rhino doing now? He is looking into the water. And wh who do you think is he looking at this moment? He stops as he sees it and then gasps out loud. Leopard and Python could cry. They're so proud. He grins at the animal that he can see. By golly, it's amazing. It's wonderfully me. Oh, look at that. So cute. Rhino realized that it's him in the water. And it's beautiful and special. So now he is happy. Oh, that's great. Do you like this story? Everyone is special, even you who is listening now. You who are listening at this moment, you are special too. All of us are special. So that's all for today. 
and see you in our next book. <laughs>